applying insert select distinct clause where clause on database table how can we insert select and then apply certain clauses such as distinct and where clause in our database table hello everyone i'm sukanya from goeduhub technologies and today we are going to see that how can we insert values into the table select it for display purposes and then fetch the result using several clauses such as distinct and where clause so to begin with what is an insert statement the insert into statement is used to insert new records into the table and the syntax is very simple insert into table that means the table name the respective columns along with the values for example if we are inserting the values into a table name college then insert into college values the roll number the name of student the department the section and the phone number always remember to put double quotes for the string values or for the alphabetic values so if i want to insert this value in the table name college which i have created so i will firstly apply double quotes to all the string values that is alia her department csc and her respective section b and the phone number so as i run the insert command the values are inserted the query is okay that is the roll number name department section and the phone number of the student similarly if i want to insert the other value of the second student that is alisha and if i select this command and then insert it into my table name college and i modify this command a bit because string values need to be enclosed within double quotes you have to remember this otherwise the entry would not be inserted into the table and both the rows have been inserted into the table the next is if you want to see the output then very simple you need to run the select query and for that let's check by running the select query that is select asterisk from table name that is college and we can see the entries have been inserted the roll number name department section and the phone number of student so this is how we have inserted the values to all the columns that is roll number name department section and phone number we have given the values to all columns but if we want to give values to specific columns only i don't want to give values to all the columns i want to keep some columns as null no value i want to insert so for that i can insert the values using only specified column i will mention the name of those specific columns and then i will insert their respective values for example if i am inserting the value in the college of roll number name and section and the values are 104 aditya and he is in section a that means i am not inserting the value in department and in phone number so it shows that how can i insert the values in the specific columns and those columns are roll number name and the section only so let me run this query into my command line and what i have to do is enclose the string values in quotes and numeric values are no need to be inserted into the quotes it's all right so the query has been inserted into the college and only the specific rows have been inserted the specific columns have been the values similarly i can insert the rest of the two values also so for nitya she is in section b her name has to be enclosed within double quotes and then i will run this query the query is okay and the last entry is anaya so let's run this query also 
always remember to enclose the strings in double quotes or in single quotes according to your convenience so that it doesn't shows any kind of error while you hit the command so all the rows have been inserted and now if i run the select command such as select asterisk which is used to display the data or to return the data which is stored in the table in the form of a result table called result set then that is done with the help of select statement that is select asterisk from college this asterisk here denotes the complete values all information i want to fetch so this is somewhat the output would look like let's see if the outputs look like that yes it exactly looks the same when you done the select query the fields which you have not mentioned for the last three entries those are kept null you can enter the values later on and rest the values which you have given have been inserted and displayed to you with the help of select command the next statement is distinct statement distincts as the name simplifies a statement used to return only distinct or different values inside a table a column may have duplicate values for example two students can be in same section that is a or b or c and sometimes you want to list different or distinct values not the common values so then you can run the distinct command for example if you want to select distinct section from college table then it will give you the distinct section the separate or different values of section by neglecting the common values so when you run this command you can see that the distinct section have been given to you that is a b c now b has two values but it has not returned two times b why because you have used distinct keyword and you have used select statement along with distinct so it has only returned you the different values neglecting the common values now if you want to use where statement now what does this where statement do the where clause is used to filter the records the where clause is used to extract only those records that fulfill the specified condition for example if you want to return a record from the table college and if you have given a specific condition where the section is c then only those record will be displayed where the section is c so let's run this command and check that whether the result is same or not yes it is when you run the select command using the where clause where the section is only c then only the record of anaya is returned to you because only she is the student of section c so when you want to fetch the specific information using a condition then you use where clause so in this module we have studied about certain clauses and along with that how could we insert select the statements applying in the database table and fetch our respective informations for more queries we will look into other videos thank you